Thunderbirds director Kyrios F. Gary that game ending not too long ago. Yes, Jess, it just ended maybe about 20 minutes ago, but unfortunately for the Kennedy Thunderbirds, that redemption tour has ended. They would fall to Garfield with a final score of 42 to 10. And throughout the game, these guys battle tough, but Garfield is posting a very physical team. We got to see that on the field tonight. And going into these highlights, Kennedy was facing off against Garfield for the first time ever, but the Thunderbirds looked to find momentum early, but it was the Bulldogs running down the clock in the first. They capped a long drive with a touchdown at 7 0 Garfield. Then in the second quarter, Kennedy struggled with turnovers, an interception turning the points, and then a fumble would give the ball back to Garfield, who would score on a throw just a play later. The Bulldogs take an early 28 0 lead, but Kennedy looking for some defense. They'd use a big drive late in the second quarter, starting with Jose Cota's legs, and then a great pass to Jonathan Carrillo. A play later, the ball's in Tyreek Walker's hands, and he's in the end zone. Kennedy cuts the lead there at 28-10, but that would be it. Offensively, Bulldogs pull away in the second half again to end this game with a final score of 42 to 10. But I have to say, the most impressive moment was when Coach Neon talked to his players at the end of the game. He got really choked up speaking to them and tell them that they accomplished so much. So they may leave this field with their second loss in the season, but they're still leaving as champions. We got to remember that this team, they're Valley champs after last week, and of course they broke many team records this year. So a lot of accomplishments. And again, he thanked his seniors for bringing this team to the success that they had this year, and he hopes that it can only get greater next year. So the Thunderbirds are not leaving sad. They're going to look forward to what they can do later. And of course, we'll have coverage and full wrap from this game and for, here from the team and coach later in the 11. But for now, live in East Los Angeles, Gary Yosef, I'll send it back to you.